Well, a second railroad union has voted down a national labor deal between unions and the Biden administration. More than 60 percent of union member ballots voted not to ratify, making this the highest participation in a vote in the union's history. And well, now a rail strike is looming and it could cripple the U.S. supply chain and economy, of course. Uh, Holidays coming quickly. That could be a big problem, potentially occurring as early as November 19th. Here to discuss with us national labor and diversity expert and the founder and president of Greer Consulting, Jason Greer. Greer, uh, Jason, Jason Greer, uh, thanks so <laughs> much. Okay. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, and, you know, your Thank take you. on, on this uh, potential looming labor strike. It seemed like everything was going fine, according to the president. Well, it seemed like everything was going fine until it didn't. When you have the signalman union that basically said, you know, over 60 percent of them said that we don't agree to this new four year term. At odds here, what's interesting, I've been in this game for close to 20 years. And generally what we see is that when employees are going to go out on strike, they want to go out on strike because they want to make more money. Now, in this particular case, employees were actually going to make more money, but they're not getting paid, paid sick days. That's what they're at odds with. Okay, so what fixes this? And why did the administration make it sound like, oh, yeah, everybody's happy with this? It's, it's a done deal. Well, I'm not going to speak to Joe Biden, but I'm going to tell you what's going to fix this is these employers legitimately saying the average age of a railroad employee is 45 years old. Their bodies are breaking down. So let's go ahead and give them paid sick time, because if we don't, what they're going to see is a mass exodus of these employees. And unfortunately for the railroad industry, it's not the type of industry that young people, women or ethnic minorities are entering in in droves. Yeah, Jason, if, if it does, strike does happen, uh, speak to how that will upend an already struggling mm. supply chain right situation. Right before Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, right before the holiday season. It's, it's going to be disgusting. <laughs> it's not even nasty. It's going to be disgusting. I'm going to tell you why. You have the upcoming holiday season, but you also have a supply chain that is already, it's, ba it's barely holding on. So what ultimately these railroad uh, companies are going to have to do is they're going to have to prioritize what goes out your chemicals, your refrigerated goods, your beverages, because, you know, these companies have been doing this for a long time and they have strike contingency plans in place. Unfortunately, if they don't do something about this, the railroad industry might be crippled in a way that we can't get it back. All right. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen. But Jason Gregory, to have your insight. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. All right. And